Well, friends, welcome to your weekly motivational moments with Eric Vickery, president of coaching at All Star Dental Academy. I'm excited this week to continue our topic of leadership. Last week, maybe you didn't realize you were a leader. And so last week was, hey, this is what leadership is, influence. That's what it is. Why do you do that? What is it that brings you joy in being a leader? That's going to help you, encourage you to dig deeper into understanding who you are as a leader. So last week was what and why. This week is how. How do we be effective leaders? You know, if, if I'm influencing a patient into getting healthier, then I want to know what's my approach. Because being bossy, being a bossy leader, that's not something that somebody wants to be around. That's not something that somebody wants to be directed by. That's not influence, that's pressure. Just like we don't like pressure sales. We like relational. We like, we like relationship. We like to be connected with people, to build their trust. So this week, the how is an acronym that we use. It's called HEROES. So effective leaders are heroes. So the best leader you can be is a hero leader. So let's talk about that. Let's do an overview. The first H, being a hero, is you're humble. And I think that's a huge part of, of how we lead effectively. You get too bossy, you get too arrogant, and you're not getting anywhere with a patient or with your team. The second is equipping. In John Maxwell's Five Levels of Leadership, in level four, he talks about helping others grow, you know, pouring into other people. And so to be an effective leader, I've got to be able to teach people, whether that's my team, teach them how to be effective in what they do, or to equip the patient with the right information to help them understand it the way I understand it. All right, so humble, equipping. Number three, the R is relational. We want to build relationships. We want to have relationships with our patients. We want to have relationship with our team. So to be relational with your patient means things like connecting with them and understanding what they want when it comes to the, um, how they want to be treated in the dental office, how, how they want to have experience it. What are they looking for with their mouth? And then having conversations with them so that they feel like they're getting good advice from somebody they trust. All right, the O stands for optimistic. It's pretty simple, pretty obvious. Nobody wants to be around the negative person. Never tell them what you don't do. Always talk about what you do. Be on the optimistic side. Be focused on where we're going. Don't be ignorant of challenges, but be optimistic. All right, the second E is egoless. Egoless. It is a word. I looked it up. And to be without ego. We talk a lot about being confident. We're all getting graded on a curve, you know, being, having that 10 on our forehead. So we're not talking about being 11 or a 12. That cockiness, that arrogance, the, the uh, narcissist, that's not something that we're looking for. The egoless leader is someone who can fail forward, who can celebrate their mistakes, who can say, I, I made a mistake and I want you to learn from me. All right, and the S last is the servant leader. We'll talk about more about the servant, uh, servant as a leader, uh, which comes from Robert Greenleaf's book on servant leadership. We'll talk more about that as we dive into each one of these sections over the next several weeks. So are you being the hero that your patient needs, that your team needs when it comes to leadership this week? I want you to look at these, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, it steps this acronym, humble, equipping, relational, optimistic, egoless, servant. I want you to look at these and say, all right, where do I have this? Where do I not have this? If you're struggling in one of these, then let's dive into it. We'll do that over the next several weeks. All right, guys, go out there and make it a great week. Be heroes for each other.